Off Clipper High, friends, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Star Wars Rebels episode 13, Protector of Concord Dawn. It's a Mandalorian episode. Uh, with Kanan and Sabine and some guy named Fen Rao. 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 Oh, I speak dog. Ready? Nah. That was a movie that was on the other night. No. And you guys can hear my dog, too. You want to hear him? Buddy, come here. Scruffy. Come here, Scruffy. Don't you bark at me. Don't bark. Scruffy. Scruffy. Go to your room. No, I'm kidding. I know you're in your room. Go get some food. Want a bone? Here. People these days are dogs these days. <laughs> Yeah, ah, uh, someone's at the door. Uh, let me go answer it. Okay, so Denver has 10 points and Carolina has zero. So that's, uh, gotta remember that for first quarter. That's, uh, five extra credit points for me in class tomorrow. Okay, so anyways, uh, now that we've got Scruffy out of here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ha, I got you. My dog accent is so good. There is no Scruffy. <laughs> that's probably, the saddest thing is... That's probably going to be the best part of this review. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to I don't remember really, I don't really remember a whole lot about this episode. And, uh, but I do not, it didn't really necessarily sit right with me. Kinda. Uh, we didn't need to have Hera injured. We didn't need some face-off with Sabine and Mandel. I mean, the whole point of the Mandalorian episode was pretty much fan service, because we didn't really get a whole lot of character backstory for Sabine, with the exception of finding out that her mother was in a Death Watch, and that Dave Filoni would argue, so pretty much confirm, that her mother was in the same room that Darth Maul and Vizsla fought, and she was there when he was beheaded, so, uh... What the fuck? I don't really care. We don't need all these connections. I'm kidding. I kind of like it. My friends don't. My friend, uh, Crossbro said, No! Ugh! And my friend, uh, Blogging Guy, or Butler, I'm kidding, Blogging Guy said, Why? I don't know. I kind of like it. The Vizsla touch, but other, the, I didn't really necessarily like the episode. I didn't get the whole thing with the surrender and all that. I kind of did, but I kind of didn't, and the episode didn't really necessarily sit right with me. Much like the first half of season two. But, uh, on a brighter note, the Legends of the Sod episode, that really did pump me up. But, uh, enough of that. I'm gonna film that on a later date. So I can do some editing with my equipment that isn't a freaking, only a cell phone. I'll get, film it when I'm out of place with my real equipment. And I'll get that to you, and I promise you that will not be a day when I'm all mopey and bored and just want the day to end. Nothing bad went on. It's just, uh, I'm just bored as frick. But, uh, yeah, because that was an episode that did pump me up. I, I loved that episode. But, uh, enough of that. We'll save that for another day. So, uh, Darth Momo is out. Go ahead, if you like the video, click on that subscribe button, subscribe to more of the channel, more Star Wars bits, upcoming features. And always go ahead, hit that like button and comment. Thank you.